Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have a sweet and simple Christmas card that you can replicate quickly and send to all your friends and I think you're really going to like it. It uses the Stampin' Up! Cup of Christmas stamp set and this stamp set is very cool for other reasons than what we're using it today. It has cup stamps that are reversible where you can stamp on one side, reverse it, and stamp using the other side so that you can get the cups with the handles on either side um, to create the image that you want on your card. But today I'm not going to use any of that. I'm just going to use a couple of little images from this set. I'm going to use the poinsettia or poinsettias. People describe it differently. I'm going to use this little leaf stamp and the Sweet Christmas Wishes Sentiment. And if you're looking for this in your holiday catalog, it's on page 34 in the Stampin' Up! 2019 holiday catalog. In fact, I think I've used my catalog in this page so much that it's even falling out. But that's where you can find it with other samples of what the, the stamp set and the die set together, the bundle, can do. But I'm just gonna focus on this, this sweet little card today and I hope you like it like I do. So I'm going to put my glasses on and we're going to get started. Um, first of all, this is a photopolymer stamp set and that means that we're going to use our pad underneath um, so, that we, so that we have extra cushion to make a good image. I'm going to use Melon Mambo Classic Ink and this is the poinsettia stamp that I talked about. And we're just going to stamp it twice. So I'm going to get clear, you know, a good amount of glue on there. Excuse me, glue. What is wrong with me today? I'm getting excited to go to Onstage, our, uh, our conference uh, for Stampin' Up! where we all get together, all the demonstrators. So I'm a little bit absent-minded today. Okay, so we've got our Melon Mambo ink, and I'm going to stamp this out and a little up. Out from the right edge and a little up. And because of the pad... It makes it very, it makes a really nice image. And then I'm going to tuck this one in and tuck, stamp a second one. That's it for the Melon Mambo, just the two, the two poinsettias. And the next thing we're going to stamp, remember I told you it was the very small little um, leaf, a little leaf branch. And you'll see what it looks like when I stamp it. The one thing I noticed with this one is you have to make sure you're getting good ink coverage on it. And then I'm going to stamp it in between those two poinsettias, just like that. And I'm going to stamp two more in there. And you just tuck them in. It's pretty easy to do. And remember, this part is going to be covered by our sentiment. So we're we're good to go if we if we kind of make a mistake. And I'm going to try to get this one a little bit lower there just to add some, some difference like that. Okay, and here is our, we're going to turn the side. Now I notice, this is one thing with having long nails. My nails will touch the pad and I got a little dot right there. So I'm going to try to stamp right over it so nobody notices and don't tell anyone, okay? So we've got the stem. Um, all inked up and I'm going to do two on this side. They usually say odd numbers are good and since I've got even numbers here I'm going to have three branches and two branches. So I'm going to try to cover up that little dot right there. Done! Yay! So no one notices. If you need help in how to cover things up just in stamping just ask me. <laughs> okay so here's our second one. And we're just going to tuck that in there. So that's it for the stamping. Now our, our five branches are on. And the sentiment, if you remember from the sample card, is uh, heat embossed in white embossing powder. I went ahead and did, did that for speed. And then I'm just going to show you how I just cut it out with my fuss, with fussy cut, is what they call it, with my um, paper snips, the Stampin' Up! paper snips, which are fabulous scissors. If you don't have them, seriously, you need to get them um, because they are extremely sharp and they do this very nicely. And this is really arbitrary. You just cut, cut kind of closely to your sentiment 
and I'm going to cut off an edge there so I can get a little closer and just keep cutting around. I kind of like to do little little waves to give a little bit of interest and then I get way down close there. Can you see that? With the, with the lowercase letters and I'm going to scoop around this S here like that and back around and we're done. I'm going to, this looked a little pointy. I'm going to get rid of that round that off there okay it's very arbitrary and easy to do and that is just going to sit on there that is this is how simple this card is it's a what you might call a clean and simple card and now i'm going to add my sentiment with a couple of stamp and dimensionals i'm going to use two whoops one on this edge and one over here on this edge okay and then we're just going to Put the sentiment right down over where the flowers, the poinsettias, and the branches meet. And there is our front piece. Now this, I might have forgot to tell you, this piece is cut at four, um, five inches by three and three quarters inches. And it goes on the card base, which is eight and a half by five and a half, and scored at four and a quarter. And I'm going to adhere my... Uh, other white piece with more stamp and dimensionals because it looks just a little more professional when you lift it up off of the card base and this is all whisper white cardstock and the sentiment is heat embossed I said with white embossing powder on melon mambo cardstock and so it matches exactly the ink that we used for the poinsettias and pink is my favorite color, so I get a lot of use out of Melon Mambo. It's one of my favorite colors. Let's see. Okay. And now I'm just going to... I don't need my pad anymore. And I can just set this right on top. Let's see. Okay, that's a tad bit uneven, but I don't think anyone would notice. There's a little more space up there, but I think it's still very pretty. And now I'm going to use, these are the Peacock, um, I'll get the correct name for you and put it down under the video, um, but they came with the Peacock set, the Pretty Peacock set, and these are the rhinestones that go with that set, and, and I love these pink rhinestones, I think they're really pretty. And so I'm going to put a few rhinestones around, again three is good, um, because it holds your interest, because it's an odd number, and let's see, I could put this one just out of it and do you believe it your card is done isn't that quick and it's a super cute card I think I think it's just darling and now of course sometimes we like to stamp inside our card and where's my melon mambo here we go I'm going to stamp a little poinsettia in the lower right corner of the inside of my card I think my pad is a little bit dry. We've had some dry weather here, so that's the only reason I'm kind of, you heard it like I was pounding. Um, but my pad is a bit dry. So there's our card, and here's the envelope. What I did on the envelope is another poinsettia. And there you go. Isn't that a cute Christmas card? I think you're gonna, you can use any color of poinsettia, of course. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, have a wonderful season preparing Christmas cards. I know that some of you have already started and I want to make sure to give you plenty of ideas. So thank you so much for stopping by. I um, ask that you might share this video. You might uh, share it with someone, recommend it to someone, and please subscribe to my channel. And of course, this is the address to shop for all of these products and I'll have them linked down below the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.